and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my cup of tea, which can only mean one thing. We're going to have a little chat, okay? And today's topic of choice is when you are really wanting to open an Etsy shop, but you just, you just can't bring yourself to do it. You just can't bring yourself to press that button for whatever reason you have stalled and you've stopped yourself from opening up that all important Etsy shop, which will basically give you a fast track road to financial freedom at the end of it. Once you have an Etsy business that makes sales, you are well on your way to financial freedom. And that is something that I think a lot of people forget. They they love the ideals of, oh, I could sell things from home. I don't have to go out to work anymore. I could work from home. I could make crafts all day long and sell them online. But they don't like the idea of having to put the effort and the time and the money into making a successful Etsy shop. And I did do a video um, a couple of months ago now basically saying what is the point of Etsy and I wanted to kind of follow along from that because that video got a lot of views. It kind of blew up my channel a little bit because I think people are they don't want to always hear about, oh, you have to have this to do keywords like this, or you have to do photos like this or that. Or, 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 or. I think a lot of people sometimes just need a little bit of a kick up the backside. <laughs> and this video I'm hoping will be the kick up the backside that you need. If you're sat there right now watching me and you are researching Etsy and you are looking on the Etsy groups and you know, you're seeing success stories. I mean, you're probably also seeing people complaining about certain aspects of, Et of Etsy and that happens on groups time to time and that may be putting you off and you're probably looking around and thinking, I don't like my job. I don't like the fact that I don't earn the money that I feel that I'm worth. Um, and I know that if I started a business that allowed me to sell something that I enjoy making, then I could make the money that I believe I am worth. And to that, I would say, you are completely correct that I I earn so much more than what I would ever do at an employed job. Now, I am a qualified gemologist. You guys have probably seen my um, the primary things up on the wall if you've seen my office tour. Um, but I, I could go and get a job valuing jewellery. I could go and, you know, do insurance valuations for antique jewellery to identify what different gems are to grade diamonds and things like that. But the money that I make from my Etsy business, which I love, I would make, I, I make more doing this than I would ever do at, you know, that kind of job. And I think that regardless of the money aspect of things is that having your own business is, it's like leveling up in life. And I know that sounds bizarre, but I'm a bit of a gamer girl, so I like to play games and things like that. But Honestly, it, it opens you up to new things that you thought were never there. And I have to say that for those of you out there that watch my other videos, you probably know what I'm about to say, but I do find that the minute that you quit your job to do your business full time, which I'm not saying just jump into straight away, there are videos that I have on my channel about you know when to make the leap. But when you do make that leap, you start to realize that you've kind of been lied to your whole life, that this whole notion of, you know, going to school, going to secondary school or high school, going to college, going to university, then getting a job, then working at that job until you retire, then doing the things that you want to do in life, then the inevitable happens. And when the first probably six months when I went self-employed, I had a major kind of like, whoa, breakthrough because it was like, wow, we are all just cogs really. In my opinion, guys, don't ever think that I am knocking being employed because if you love your job and it doesn't feel like work to you and you would do it for free if you weren't getting paid, then you do you because believe me, there are some days where I'm like, I just want to go back to a job because it's so hard. But honestly, the, the, those days don't last long. It's just minor setbacks. But um, you do realize that you are just cogs really in, in a big machine. And that's what I didn't like about the, the jobs that I've had is that I never felt like I was worth anything. And even when I was in an independent jewelers working, I still felt like if I would leave next week, which obviously I did, 
um, I wouldn't really be missed. And I have to say, that was the case. Although you say, I'm going to keep in contact with all these lovely people that I've met, and, you know, I'm going to be missed, and no one's going to make jewellery like I do, no one's going to sell things like I do, no one's going to do X, Y, Z like I do, you, you, you're you not missed, you're not, you're not missed, and although it, it kind of pains me to say that to you guys, because I don't want you guys to think that I am downplaying being employed by any means, because I'm not, um, I just want you to have the kick up the bum that I didn't have, so it does, once you go self-employed, it does really kind of, how can I put it, you, you you just, you realise a lot of things that I think that you never would have realised if you stayed at a job. And I think a lot of people, they kind of snooze through their day. They snooze through, they get up, brush their teeth, have breakfast, wash their face, get dressed, go to work, come home, repeat and un undo it. So you get undressed, you wash your face again, you have your dinner, then you go to sleep, wake up and do it all again. And a lot of people snooze through that. They don't, you know, like there are some people, like my, my husband, for example, he can do that and he's like on a treadmill all the time. He comes home, does the same thing, same thing, wake up, does the same thing, same thing. And he can get to Thursday and be like, wow, where has that week gone? Now, although that seems like a good problem to have because I think a lot of people would like it to feel like Friday a lot of the time, <laughs> I think it kind of dawned on him that like, that's not great in relation to your life because a whole year can go by and you're thinking, I just basically worked through that entire year, what happened? And that has happened to me a few times where I've just literally snoozed through it and got to like November and thought, oh damn, where, where, where did that year go? And I think a lot of it does depend on how we, how we conduct ourselves through our daily life. And a lot of our daily life is at work. So when you go self-employed, you find that time does go slower, but that's a good thing I find because you actually get to enjoy the things that you're doing. And this does go through, you know, I can branch off into lots of different avenues with this, but what I'm gonna just basically say, otherwise this video is gonna be so long, is that you are in complete control of your time and how you spend your time. So you can choose the, the, the tasks that you want to do. You can outsource the others that you don't want to do. And it's allowed me to do so many, so many different things so many different things like for example going out for lunch just on a weekday um going to watch a film just any time of day and even down to doing this youtube channel um if i was at a job i couldn't do this i i wouldn't be able to i couldn't just stop my work and film in the middle of the day when the sun's still up or well the, the clouds up at the minute but <laughs> the sun is in there somewhere it's british weather what can we expect so I do find that if you are someone like that, where you are employed at a job that you don't really like, you're probably feeling the same. Like there must be more to life than just this. There must be more to it than just working day in, day out, um, losing, losing my time in a vortex of monotonous tasks and just snoozing through my day. And I have to tell you, yeah, there is. It's called doing what you really want to do with your life. And I know that a lot of you watching really want to do an Etsy business or a business of any sorts, not just a handmade business, but there's something holding you back. And there is some part of you that's saying, you can't do this, it will just fail. What are you gonna do if you tell your other half, your partner, your mum, your dad, your family, your friends that you're going to do this and then it fails. Well, guess what? They'll still be your family, friends and loved ones if you do fail because they are people that you've handpicked to be in your circle, to be in your life. And if they're not going to be around you when you fail, then maybe you should start to question that. And that's the biggest thing, I think, is I find that people are either scared of letting themselves down or letting other people down. And for letting yourselves down, there's really nothing to it because your fear is based on nothing. Fear is nothing. Fear does not really exist. It's only a meaning that we give the word fear. So in reality, if you're scared of letting yourself down, then why are you scared of letting yourself down? All you do is dust yourself off, learn a lesson, pick yourself up and do it again. I can't tell you the amount of times I failed, but it's quite a lot. <laughs> and, and I just feel like people are scared of letting themselves down and why? Why are you scared of letting yourself down? There is nothing to be afraid of. In fact, I encourage 
you to fail and I encourage you to let yourself down because you learn really important lessons that you wouldn't have learned if someone like me had just told you don't do this and you go oh yeah okay but if you make the mistake oh you learn that lesson 110% especially if you put money behind it because it hurts more <laughs> but all in all guys if I hadn't started my Etsy shop then I would not be where I am today I would probably still be at that job that I didn't really like I'm being kind here the job that I didn't really like with the people that weren't good for my mental health doing things that I thought I wanted to do but I didn't want to do with my life and snoozing away my life and now I have access to my time again I have access I have my life back because I can do you know I can I can schedule my work day in a way that not only brings me joy but that can give me my time back that can allow me to do all sorts of things with my life that I thought I would never be able to do and honestly guys that is that is the reasons why you should start an Etsy business if you are on the fence I'm not just saying this because I want you to start an Etsy business what would I have to gain out of that I'm just telling you the truth I'm just telling you exactly how it is for me um and I do truly believe because I'm nothing special I've done it um I'm here to teach you guys, sure, but that's purely because I really want other people to know about this. Like, wow, um, I've made this transform my life. Why aren't more people doing this? So that's why I'm here talking to you about it. And my advice would be if there is something, if there's an Etsy shop or a handmade business idea that you've been back and forth with for a good few weeks now it's just to do it take it further even if you if you're not ready to, to make that final leap into opening an Etsy shop research it you know if you download my 30 days to a kit but Etsy shop workbook there are so many steps between you having the idea to you launching the Etsy shop that you can do in the meantime whilst you're still unsure and they're all steps that are free you don't have to spend any money on it so go and download that workbook, go and work through those steps and then see how you feel. And if you get to the end and you're raring to go, which I am 99% sure that you will be, then you are prepped, you are raring to go and you have a shop that is primed to make sales. And that is all I can really say is that this is me officially giving you permission to go and do that Etsy shop because I feel like a lot of you guys out there need permission. I don't know why you need permission, but hey, I'm waving my magic wand, you have permission, go and open your Etsy shop, go and download that workbook, the link will be in the description box, and go and start your life well on the way to financial freedom. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I did not drink a single sip of this tea, so I'm gonna go and drink this now. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, because if you're here now and you're watching this, just subscribe, really, honestly, why, why, why aren't you subscribing? Like, so much free content coming out, which is obviously catered to you because you're here watching it, so subscribe, please. <laughs> um, and leave a comment below, tell me what's holding you back from opening up your Etsy shop. And I shall see you in the next video, guys. Bye!